Uh, you all are welcome to my channel with Skyder. Uh, today I'll focus uh, on one another video on integration. So uh, we, I hope uh, you have watched my first video and second video relevant to integration. I have added the links uh, down below in the description. So you can uh, check those videos before trying this. If you are okay with the uh, basics of integration, you can continue with this video. This is basically about uh, a proof relevant to the area under the curve with the support of uh, integration here. So we'll join with the video today. Area as the limit of a sum. So you can see I have given a certain function here, y equal x to r plus 1. We have to find the area under a curve, under this curve, and above x-axis, within the limits x equal 1 and x equal 5. So let's see how we can uh, try this uh, one with the support of uh, limits. So uh, what do I do? I just try uh, drawing some rectangles under the curve. I just try to draw some uh, rectangles which are under the curve. And how it is focused there, just one vertex of the rectangle will be touching the curve. See, all are just like that. Then I consider this uh, area as a sum of areas of these rectangles, right? But you can see clearly that there are gaps to be found. Therefore, my answer for this sum of areas will not be an exact area under the curve. This is just an estimated answer for the area under the curve, right? So let's see how it is done. In this case, you can see that I can find this area by 1 into 2. 2 plus 1 into 5, 5, 1 into 10, 10, 1 into 17, 17. Just the addition of those areas of rectangles which will result 34 square units. You know that this is not an exact answer, therefore I have considered it as an estimated area. As well as this is considered as an underestimate as some parts are missing, some parts to be added to the area to get the exact area. This means this is a lesser value than the exact area under the curve. That's why this is considered as an underestimate. Then uh, I try the other way. I try to draw rectangles once again, which will uh, touch the other side vertex of each rectangle to the curve. Then I can find the area of these rectangles separately and get the sum of them. Then uh, you can see that some additional areas will be added to my answer which shouldn't be there in my exact area. So this will give you an answer which is more than the exact correct area under the curve. Therefore, this is also an estimated area. In this case it became 58 square units and this is considered as an overestimate. Why? This is a value which is more than the exact area. You can see this will be more than the exact area as some uh, additional parts are added to my exact area. So what is the conclusion? Conclusion will be my exact area, capital A, should be in between underestimated area 34 as well as overestimated area 58. Should be between these two. Uh, and the other thing, if I go back for a minute, you can see that my rectangles are somewhat bigger, right? In this case as well as in previous case. So what can I do? I can uh, take rectangles with small bits than this. I can consider very small size rectangles and try to construct as many as rectangles possible on my sketch below the curve as well as the above the curve. Then I will get much more accurate uh, areas for this estimated area. So I have tried that way. So I have considered 8 such rectangles under the curve as well as above the curve. So I got it as 39.5 my uh, underestimated area, 51.5 as the overestimated area. So if you compare these two you can see that my value is reducing here. Here my value is increasing and the gap is going to be decreasing. That means if you can try drawing infinite number of rectangles there, you will get the 
uh, more accurate answer for the correct area. So I tried with 16 such rectangles. Answers are getting closer once again, much more accurate. Uh, if I try with 32 rectangles, okay, you might get a better answer than this even. Sometimes uh, only a difference of some decimal places will be there. But we have a practical issue there. We can't just construct rectangles every time like that, uh, many rectangles and find the area. Why? Uh, it depends on your accuracy, how you draw the rectangles, how you find the calculations correctly. Too many calculations will lead to too many mistakes. Therefore, these methods is uh, not practical, right? Therefore, we will have a formal proof uh, how can we do it in a general way. So I uh, took it here. I consider some rectangles like this. Small areas are there, very small areas. Therefore, I took them as delta A1, delta A2, delta A3 up to delta A N. That means n number of rectangles are there in this case. As well as if I consider these uh, width of these, those are very small and those are in x-axis. Therefore, I consider width will be delta x amount. As well as height will be changing y1, y2, y3 up to yn. Those are changing depending on the curve. Then I can find out the area of this first uh, rectangle delta a1 or a1 mass uh, y1 multiplied by delta x, y1 multiplied by delta x. Area of rectangle 2 a2 equal to y2 delta x. Likewise I can consider a general rectangle there as ith rectangle, ith rectangle area will be ai will be equal to yi into delta x delta x is also same always same with the same but the height is changing that's why i took it as yi then final result will be the sum of these areas a1 a2 a3 likewise up to am right then the total area capital a will be y1 delta x y2 delta x up to yn delta x the sum of these if you look closely here, this is the approximate symbol. Why? This is going to be an estimated answer for the exact area, not the exact answer. That's why I took it as approximate symbol there. Finally, we can consider this as a sum of terms. Why? Delta x is common. Yi is considered as a general term. So, sigma is going from 1 to n. I can consider sum of these. Still, this is going to be an approximated answer but if I can consider more than this that means infinite number of rectangles here which will lead into infinity that means you get the exact area not then estimated answer so let's see how we can do that uh, when n goes to infinity that means when there are infinite number of rectangles width of the rectangle approaches to zero which means delta x goes to 0. You know that under the limit theorem of differentiation, under the limits there, you have learned that when delta x goes to 0, it will approach to dx there. So you may have an idea where we are heading now, right? Then final result will be capital A, exact area, not the estimated area, exact area, approximate symbol become equal and this is going to be the integration symbol symbol of integration y dx this is going to be the function y no problem with that then uh, integral of y with respect to x this is how we read this integration right so uh, just uh, doing one example to get the idea what is done here let's say you want to find out uh, this area as we discussed earlier our function is y equal x plus 1 let's say uh, you want to find out the area from 1 to 5 x equal 1 to x equal to 5 then integrate this it becomes x to the power 3 over 3 plus x then substitute lower limit and upper limit get the difference of them don't forget the order first you substitute the upper limit to the integrated result simplify that Substitute the lower limit to the integrated result, subtract them, get the difference of them, 45 and 1 over 3, 45 and 1 third square units in this case, so that will be done. So you can see now uh, 
earlier in my previous video even though we found the area under the curve using a formal method we didn't have a notation or a symbol for the integration but now we have the symbol for the integration which is this so quite obvious now uh, so I will give uh, one question for you as well as uh, another one with the answers uh, you can try you better try these two examples yourself and comment the answers in my uh, comment section if you feel uh, you want to have more difficult question let me know I can forward you an ebook or a pdf as you wish or uh, any other word document even or else if you wish to uh, refresh your knowledge by uh, trying some quizzes that also I can provide freely so uh, try these uh, yourself if you have any doubts, questions, please comment below. Hope you enjoyed the video. We will uh, uh, meet with another video on integration. Thank you for joining with me.